Good morning, world. Good morning, our nations, all people, all tongue. Good morning to every man, woman, boy, and girl living and breathing in the face of this earth. I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and I pray you will have a wonderful New Year's Day and the coming New Year. Today, we're talking about faith. Faith for the coming New Year. Have faith in all that you're believing God for. And don't fall by the wayside. We are to rest in Christ Jesus. And while we're resting, our faith is at work. Because we're believing, we're receiving, and we're taking it by faith. We believe it, we don't see it, but we believe that God will do what we are expecting him to do by faith. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4 Verse 1, this uh, Christians should rest to be obtained by faith. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Through the Holy Spirit, we enter the rest of Jesus Christ. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached. This is why it's so necessary for us as Christians to listen to the preached word, to read the Bible, because we get confidence, even more confidence, and even more um, power, even more power in our everyday Christian life as we hear the word of God preached and as we read the word of God. For unto us was the gospel preached as well unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Back in Moses' days, they heard the word by the prophets and Moses had the law. Today we have faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We believe and receive by faith and not by sight. We have a personal relationship with God through the Holy Spirit who helps us, who encourages us, who comforts us. When we practice living, speaking, and doing the way Jesus did, sometimes it's very hard, it's very, very hard to, to walk this walk. But nevertheless, nevertheless, Jesus has overcome the world. So we have overcome the world. So that's why it's important to practice the ways of Jesus Christ. Practice them. For we which have believed do enter into rest. Now, before I mention, it's very hard and some things that we have to do in this earth while walking this walk of faith. So when we enter into Jesus Christ's rest, casting all our cares on him, this helps us to make it through. Jesus gives us the strength to go through the hard times and the hard places and the hard spaces where we feel like we can't take it, we can't make it. When we turn it over to Jesus and then rest in our minds because we've given it to Jesus. And when Satan try to bring it back, don't let him. Casting down imaginations in every high thing that is all itself against the knowledge of God bringing into captivity every thought unto the obedience of Christ. Satan, I've already gave that to Jesus Christ and you brought it back to my mind and I'm sending it right back to Jesus. Because Jesus said, cast all my cares on him. And this I do, cast all my cares on him. I don't know how he's going to work it out, but when he come and give me instructions, then I follow those instructions then that care is taken care of and it's done. We can't, um, 
be concerned about other people's actions or words or deeds. We have to focus on Jesus Christ. This is a lonely walk because people won't understand what you're doing. They'll call you stupid or you're lying or God didn't tell you that. Well, how they know what God told you? It's a personal relationship. We have a personal relationship. And only we know how close we are with God. Only we know how much we communicate with God. Others don't know. Only we know what God is saying to us. And if we're not sure, that's why we have the word of God. So we can go to the Bible and get a confirmation that this word is truly coming from God. For we which have believed do enter into rest. We believe. We believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe by faith in Christ Jesus that he will work it out. We believe that he will give us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost power to walk by faith, to walk alone, to walk the way that he tells us to walk when nobody else is with us, when everybody else is against us. We have to stand even when we can't even stand anymore. We still got to stand through the power of the Holy Spirit. God has not left us in this alone. We have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. See, even before we were born, our life is written down in heaven. It is all finished. We just have to walk through it. And then we have to ask God to help us to walk through it, to get to the next, the next level, the next season, the next journey. We have to walk through it through obedience. And I found that when we are obedient to what God tells us to do immediately, we don't stay in a situation long because he guides us right through it quickly. But it's when we are not obedient and we choose to do things our way we're going to have to come right back to it again and again and again. Some people cut their throats over and over again and bleed out and still don't get it. But when God give us assignment, when he puts us on a journey, when we're in a season, we have to finish it out. We have to finish the course. We have to go through. We can't allow others to be in our ears and turning us away from what the word of God has told us has said to us, has spoken to us. We have to finish the course because we know what the last thing that God said to us, we heard him. Now we have to fulfill it and do it. Sometimes we have to be bothered with people we don't want to be bothered with, but that's our assignment. Sometimes we don't know why we are staying because it is our assignment and God's grace and mercy and the Holy Spirit is with us, guiding us through. In somebody else's eyes, it may look like a terrible thing. But to us, we're at rest. We're at peace. We're in the will of God. We're walking it out by faith. We're listening to God. We're praying. We're fasting. We are being an example to others. Doing this assignment. Doing this journey. Doing this season. The new year is coming in 2024, a new season, a new journey, a new assignment. Obedience will take us far and get us rewards from God. Obedience is sometimes not easy, but we have to ask God to help us through, help us to be obedient. Even when we don't feel like it, when we don't want to, when we're determined not to ask God for help, he will give it to us. We have to rest, practice resting in Jesus Christ. I've turned that over to Jesus. I've turned my children over to Jesus. I've turned those thoughts over to Jesus. Jesus, please tell me what to do next. That I may continue on in you. That I may run to you and not from you. We have to run to God. Run to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not from them, but run to them. Don't choose another way out. 
that will put us in an altered state of mind. We want to be a single mind of single mindedness. Jesus Christ, not focusing on anything else but him. Not doing it the way other people are doing it. Because God says, I want you to do it this way. So we have to do it the way God says do it. Not the way we see people around us and they have this and they have that. Well, when it's our turn, God's going to give us ours. Be patient. Wait on the Lord. He strengthens us every single day and night. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. God rest. He want us to practice resting. Resting. Not just spiritually, but physically. You have to give your body a rest. Some people have been working two jobs for so long. But now it's time for you to inquire of the Lord and ask him what to do, how to do it. Your body need rest. The body need rest to replenish itself. Our flesh need rest. Christians out there that's running on for the Lord, preaching and teaching and singing. Your body need rest. Talk to God. He will give you that time and you won't miss any money. God will give you rest. He rested on the seventh day. God is an example to us. He wanted us to have time of rest so the body can replenish itself. You won't get sick. You won't get uh, divers diseases and, and sicknesses because you are resting the body. Practice resting the body. Yes, you have things to do, but ask God for help so that you can have time to rest your body and you won't die before your time. God gives us 120 years to live. I'm going to live my 120. So I'm encouraging the body of Christ today. Have faith in God in all the work that you're doing. Take the time and rest your body and rest spiritually. Rest in Christ Jesus. He will give you ideas and information, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on what to do and how to do it and when to do it. Put your mind where Jesus' mind is. Have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. Let's practice using it. Yes, practice using the mind of Christ. Practice it so that you don't get sick. You don't get weary. You won't die before your time. These are encouraging words to the body of Christ. Jesus, the Father, Jesus and the Holy Spirit rested on the seventh day. And in this place, again, if they shall enter into my rest, enter into the rest of Jesus Christ. He will bring you through a lot of Christians that's in Hollywood making films rest in Christ Jesus. He will protect you from the devil, from the enemy who may try to overtake you in, in whatever area, whatever way, who may try to harm you and do things to you without your knowledge. Rest in Christ Jesus. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Now sometimes people, we as Christians are scared to rest. Unbelief. We're scared to put everything in the hands of Jesus Christ because of unbelief. Because of we're looking too much with our eyes and we're not walking enough by faith. But God wants us to put our rest, rest in him. And he will guide us. He will show us what to do and how to do it and when to do it. 
Everything that glitter is not gold. Every word out of people's mouths are not truth. Rest in Christ Jesus. Rest in the ways of the Lord. He will guide you. Sometimes he'll tell you, be still, don't go. Sometimes he'll tell you, be quiet, don't speak. Just rest in knowing that Jesus is the head. And we must follow his ways and practice, practice daily, practice daily following the ways of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. I pray that you are encouraged by these videos. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and a safe and happy new year.